Thank you so much for staying with us here on TMS on this Think Tank edition of the show. We are now joined by our African spiritual advisor, uh, Umkulu Siam Kize. And today uh, we are con uh, conducting the spiritual helpline, right? So he'll be answering all of your voice notes and questions that you might have as we kick off this brand new year. We're four days in, it's 2022. Uh, I'm voice notes from people, various people wanting, you know, obviously ask you questions about various things, right? Our first voice note uh, is a question about conceiving children. Yeah. Let's roll it. Because they tell her and I'm sorry. When someone's womb is deemed dirty, just to yeah. translate for the non-Zulu okay. speaking uh, audience w watching us this morning. Mm. So uh, a, a dirty womb, a spiritually dirty womb can be caused by quite a few things, but the most prevalent one is either an abortion or a miscarriage. Right. Right. So a lot of the times, Aband, when they have an abortion or a miscarriage, they either cleanse Nye Wash or rough salt, Ushi Boshi, or they use a chicken, which is simply too small. Mm. I, I don't know where this trend comes from. So you cleanse life with the chicken. It's far too small. Right. So that's the first thing that she needs to check out is if she has an abortion or a miscarriage. The second thing is if the person she is with, right? In other words, the seed is dirty, then the womb is going to be then the womb is going to be problematic. Okay. So the, 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 the problem with cleansing um, in general, when it comes to health seeking behavior, mm. right, it's no different spiritually than it is medically with men. Yeah. Men don't um, have very poor health seeking behaviors and we don't cleanse and, and purify ourselves enough. So our seeds are quite dirty and we're going around sleeping with different women and we're infecting their, their, their wombs, their clean wombs with our dirty seeds. Right. So she also needs to check with the person that she's with right now because it happens where Umum Tesfrazan is in a relationship with a man for five years. She mm. has no child with him. She breaks up and the first man she sleeps with mm. or she has a relationship right after that, mm. she has a child. And the issue is not with her womb, the issue might be with the man that she's with. So when we talk about a dirty seed, do you want to just unpack that a bit further as well? So a dirty seed in the sense is if I as a man have had four or five different partners before mm. and each of them fell pregnant and maybe I made each of them have an abortion or I made each of them have a miscarriage, Whoa. right? Then me, nah. mm. as much as... Um, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the woman needs to cleanse. Now me, I need to cleanse as well. Mm. But men don't cleanse after an abortion or miscarriage. They think that because I wasn't the one carrying the child, I don't need to be the one cleansing. And of course, umuti plays a significant role. Right. Right. Back on Abandu that use umuto mubi on umuto slis. Yeah. Okay. Ikorobela and Indando and Nesbop, all of those kind of things. Yes. Okay. Yes. And if I'm coming from a previous relationship where I haven't done that or I haven't cleansed after that, re after that relationship, I'm going to carry that same dirty, dark energy from that magic into the next relationship. In other words, now this woman might be a victim of that. Right. Uh, it sounds like something we need to talk about even further for our next conversation because uh, the woman would now need to know, Oguti, uh, do you have it? Don't you have it? How do I then move mm. forward in mm. cleansing myself in the event that I don't know mm. whether or not you've got a dirty seed, right? Exactly. But another reason why, right, this is not no longer abortion miscarriages or things that are um, not cleansing. Yeah. If yena unejlos... Right. Right? Mm. Because your ancestral spirit, if, it, if you are born gifted with the, the, the heal, um, with the gift of a healer or the spirit of a healer, mm. that needs to be satisfied first before it can bless you with a child. Ah. Right? Or if you yourself are a blessing, because I spoke about it, the four kinds of children that need to be thanked. Yes. Because in Ghana that comes after many miscarriages, in Ghana that comes after lots of prayer and whatnot, if you yourself, if she is that kind of child and mm. she was never thanked, mm. right? Because blessings should always bring more blessings. Right. Because her as the initial blessing was not thanked and recognized, they won't be able to move on to the next blessing. And that's another consequence of unanswered callings, number one, but also number two, not knowing when our child 
should be thanked or when our child actually needs to initiate. Because people do confuse the two and they say, no, that's why you don't have kids. Mm. Ganji, it could be as simple as just thanking the child now that we say a corner. Um, our next question comes from a viewer and she has a question about Mkize around getting rid of Islwane. Let's roll it. Okay. Sanbona nuzanele loe pita marit bag, gitalu buzu uti wende jan matu fawe isluan uze spume. What do you do when you uh, realize mm. or are being told that there is an evil spirit that has mm. entered your body or has been put in you? Okay, before we even say uti I need to say this because it's... If you are having dreams of intimacy... Right. Right? Um, so 100% of the time. Okay. Everybody likes to have dreams where, like, no, if you're being, if you have a dream where you're being intimate with somebody, mm. No, that's mm. not isloane all the time. Yeah. Kungaba ijo zilelo that needs to be welcomed and desires to have the same spiritual intimacy with you. Mm. But now, that's why some people, but you know, who darling, I'm okay, but I'm still having dreams of intimacy. That's mm. because like, so isloane, ijo zilelo that needs to be taken care of. But to answer her why question, why would it then manifest itself in a intimate setting oh, in, in the okay. dream perhaps we need to explain that but not just for understanding purposes but first of all if you listen to our last hope right i've spoken about it before that it does manifest that way yes. intimately right but second of all the act of intimacy there is no barrier in terms of what spiritual energies can be shared between the person mm. that's why I remember the last time we were speaking about it korobela said the most effective way to is right the act of intimacy. Uh, so when your ancestors come to you through the act of intimacy, they are saying that we also want to be in a position where there is no barrier between the two of us for the exchange of spiritual energy, knowledge, and wisdom, mm -hmm. right? We want to give you everything that you need and require. Hence, they are saying that that same act of intimacy, that same level of intimacy, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. is what we desire. It's not about the actual act, but it's the spiritual significance and, and meaning behind that act. But now everybody, you know, they say, if you have a dream of intimacy, everybody says, Isloan mm. It's not. It's Axon Isloan. Right. You know? Just the premise is just setting up. Exactly. And for that to happen, you know, you have to go through this process. Exactly. Exactly. And to answer, so Axis Isloan. Okay. So she shouldn't worry about who's keeper no, per but, se. So if she has Isloan, right? Isloan is fine. What she needs to do is, I do have someone in Joburg and someone in, in KZN that can help Nisluane. Those are the only two places that I've got. Right. Right? Isluane is not something that I myself can't assist with, okay. right? Because it is very specialized. But the premise of how we genuinely work with Isluane is we first have to diagnose what kind of Isluane is it. Okay. Before we say where it comes from and do the whole return to sender thing. We need to ask ourselves, where does Isluane come from and what is it acting on? Yeah. Is it acting on her womb? Is it acting on her skin? Is it acting on her mental health? Because it's called Isluane that acts on, her men on someone's mental health. Really? It, definitely, it's hmm. And Or is it acting on something such as their vision, yeah. right? The five senses. Okay. Once you have established that, is it isluane es dimukishwa? In other words, umelu palaz or can you need to drink something to get rid of it, or can we just steam and then sick ham simful and sick gazing embos and cleanse you with the goat? I get right? you. But obviously, in terms of the the actual process, you definitely need a healer and. I'm not the, I, I, I can't help people with Islam. Hence, I refer some of my clients to the people that can help with Islam. Awesome stuff. Listen, we're going to keep Uba Mukeze around. And we're going to take you to news right now. Unili Suyamape is standing by. This is the African Spirituality Helpline this morning. Uh, you can send across your voice notes on 072 411 6528. And our African Spiritual Advisor, Uba Busiam Kize, is here to help answer all of your questions, all of it live exclusive to TMS here on E. Welcome back. Thank you so much for staying with us here on TMS on a Tuesday. Um, with us right now still is spiritual advisor Osiam Kize. Umkule Ikehlaleli is here to talk about and answer your questions on the spiritual helpline. It only happens 
on the morning show here in ETV every single Tuesday. The next question might be very important for parents uh, who have children who were born with a spiritual blanket. Uh, let's roll it. San Banani on the morning show, Nikuluma no Lindi will embed. Then Fisubuzala, Uma Unum, Tanumane, Oaza, La Embed. Umalung Sintozak, Kalapi, Wenzaganjan, a group of Fanele, Wenzi, Suelange, Ulung Senin Tozak, Usemane. Yeah, how do we respond to that? And just to translate as well, she's asking, um, she just found out to go see her baby had or was born with a spiritual mm. blanket, what should she do? Okay, so it's a very simple and straightforward procedure that does not require a healer's intervention. Okay. Right? It is something she can do herself. And the reason why I'm saying she should think twice before going to a healer about it is because most healers, when they get a child who's born with a spiritual blanket, but also no uzo twas. Mm. Right? When Kuno Mechugo, just because you're the descendant of someone who had a calling, doesn't necessarily mean that you must twasa. Right. But to answer her question before I digress too much, how she should correct it, Agatati Mbuzi or a she? Sheep or a goat? Doesn't yeah. matter whichever one. Okay. Bayam Samo, Bashi Simbepo, right? Burning paper, call upon the ancestors, Bandabadala. Here is our child. We are aware that he or she is born with somebody. Mm. We say we welcome the spirit. We welcome them into this family. Mm. We are cleansing the spirit. And we ask that that old man, that Goko Om Kulu within the child, reveal themselves to us so that we know how to address the child and how to raise the child. Right. And then if there are any other ailments in terms of sicknesses or difficulties at school, then they must end off with that, asking Abanda Badala to relieve the child of that. Tati Kazinyongo Mswa blood, bile, and digested grass, mm. right, from the stomach, you mix it together in a bucket and you cleanse the child. Done. That's it. There's no herbs. There's no um, extensive preparation. You don't have to do mkomboti. Just get that goat or that sheep and slaughter it. It doesn't have to be a big sheep or a goat and a fully grown adult goat mm. or sheep. You can even use one of the smaller teenage kind of goats or sheep. Right. So you don't have to spend a lot of money on that. And then you can cook and eat the goat perfectly fine as a family. You don't need to throw it away. Then watch the child as the child grows up. Mm. If the child has to go into Aswani and they're called to um, go to initiation in grade 10, mm. right? Some children and some people are too young to go into initiation. Mm. So you'll do a second goat where you ask the answers and you plead with them that can they finish metric or can they finish their undergrad or their honors or their masters or whatever the case mm. may be. Um, and then we'll look at um, taking them a petrate, right? right? It always, that goat is always going to be needed either towards the graduation period or towards mm. the matriculation period. Okay. But don't go and quickly say, and listen to some healers that are going to say, no, mfage petrate, you know, mm. agatwa singan. Mm. No, you don't, you can't say to, I can't tell you, if, if, if you're going to come to Dr. Nkiza, one of my healers, right, they will never tell you that you must twasa. Mm. Right? Even if between ourselves we know, we'll never tell you that you must twasa. Yeah. We will cleanse you and wait for your spirit to tell you that you must twasa. Because when your spirit tells you that you must twasa, that means they know that you're ready. Right. right. And on top of that, we also can't tell you that you must twasa with us. Right. We must wait for each Josi to tell you that you must twasa with us. Yes. Because I don't understand how people go, um, yes, but that healer said, I must twasa and I must twasa with them. Mm. Haibo. Last time I checked, Vitz didn't tell me that I must come to them. No, I went to Vitz. No, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you pick wherever you want exactly, to. Exactly, exactly. So where you'd feel comfortable, right? Exactly, and that's all she needs to do. But she must make sure that Isbong Somtuan is also done correctly. Okay. Right? I remember we've had a conversation exactly. about Isbong, yeah. Is Katya's ning, inking, or problems with children about Zalem and Bed, they come from Ubang. So what they'll do is the, the father will pay in Kaulo only and then they're going to give him the surname of the father. Mm. Then they're going to go consult and they're going to say, no, the child has to take the father's surname, which mm. is absolute nonsense. As you mama um, to Anna, take the child, um, you can do the both go. Mm. Do in Belego, introduction to the mother's surname and then ukezishos. Because if you're going to do the right ritual at the wrong surname, the child's going to be end up even worse. And it might just exacerbate things even further, right? Exactly, most definitely. So don't listen to people about no inganyabang. Ingabang waganja and ingane with his bongs mama if both the parents are not married or only in has been paid. 
I get you. I get you. Our next voice note is about getting rid of bad luck from previous generations. Let's roll the voice note. Sanbonani mina vengkado kubuza uguti. Mangabe kutwa umuntu wetesue imi moya emibi. Kui uguti kukona ugona uguenza gala kudala. Kibo koko la bababa mkulu. Singa siza gala ganjani ngoba se uhamba kuslande la kuslupa kusivale la izi nto zetu lezi mbilu. Gavo. And just to translate for our audience as well, Umama is asking what happens when you have a perceived inherited bad luck? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, a perceived inherited bad luck is very general, right? So I don't know who told her that, but um, they need to be more specific. Mm. The same level of specificity you expect from your doctor, you need to expect it from your healer or spiritual advisor as well. It mm. needs to be very specific because what exactly are you cleansing, mm. okay? The process is in general going to be um, determined by what exactly you're cleansing, mm. right? Mm. Because if, she's saying um, she's been told, Wuti, uh, it was from the great grandfather and grandmother. Yeah. Yeah. But now, baby, baby, to so e e twins a libi and and stuff. So eventually, it's gotten to her. But it's still too general. Yeah. Do you see e twins a lib a dark cloud? Where does this dark cloud come from? Mm. What is the console? What is the action that resulted in the dark cloud? And that's another way how you know that someone was a shy shy. If you're not being specific, you would see this is where the dark cloud comes from. This was the action that resulted in these consequences. Right. Right. Because that is the action that I need to pasha about. Right. Yes. I am cleansing this action that was done in my yeah. Therefore, please remove us. Because that is the action, right? That you are trying to remove or are trying to remove its repetition in the family. But if you don't know the action, right, then that person can be shy shy. Mm. Because what is the action? And if that healer can't tell you what the action is, then you need to go and ask your ancestors, what is the action exactly? Mm. What's the problem? What is the problem? Because <laughs> I can't even give her the answer because she doesn't even know the problem herself. Mm. So she needs to, people need to start um, demanding specificity from African spiritual healers and advisors and guides. Don't let someone just say there's a dark cloud from your family history. Where does it come from? Mm. Who was it? What was their name? What did they do? What did they not do? How many generations do we need to cleanse? Is there anyone else involved? Right. You see, for example, one of my other clients, they had a dark cloud of um, the, 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 I think the brother raped the sister. Mm. Right? Mm. Very clear what we're cleansing there. Right. Okay? When Emma Kehlein, specifically in the Mkulus and the family, yeah. we are cleansing that act of one, incest, two, rape. Got Done. You. Now we know what we're doing. But if she's just going to say, it's a dark cloud coming from my great-grandparents. Mm. If, that, if you're going to tell me that, you need to be specific. And if you can't tell me, send me to someone that can tell me. And be honest with me that this is above me. I think that's it right there, Mama. Mshambe, you need to seek a second opinion, um, as Umkulu Mkize is suggesting for you this morning. Uh, up next, we have a voice note we are from uh, someone who's asking um, about bringing a person's spirit back home. As being a little morning show, yeah, we do hear a lot of this often. Uh, he's asking, how do we bring back my father's mm. spirit back home? Okay, so uh, just so that everybody understands, usually Ubuy Sumundu is done and then people put up the tombstone. So a couple yeah. of weeks before the end of the year, I spoke about Ubuy Sumundu. Okay. The, that's the ritual that I was referring to, not necessarily the actual tombstone itself. Yes. Right? 
Uantwake, the answer of that person are correct. Because he's speaking Zulu, I'm assuming he's of the Zulu culture. Right. He Amazul, he's mm. correct. Umunt Ubuiswa Ngenkom, especially Unomza, the head mm. of the household. Mm. They he the aunts are correct. He does need to get a cow and a goat is simply too small. If he's going to cut corners and do it with a goat or a sheep instead of a cow, then it's going to cause more it's gonna cause problems for him and he'll have to redo the process. But before redoing the process, you'll have to do a, a second go to apologize for doing it wrong initially, and then you'll have to do the cow. So to save time and money, let him go straight to doing the cow. Other cultures use different animals, so I can't speak for other cultures, but Tinamazul, I know for a fact. Nomzan, in go. And very quickly, in 20 seconds, what happens? We are told like this cow, then what? In terms of so, process. Depending on different parts of KwaZulu Natal, and also different families, Isi was going to be very different. Yeah. But most of the time, um, uzo kengwa leonkomo, right? Right. Nizo kina is kumba of leonkomo. But the most significant thing about Ubuisu Mundu as well is that that's when you guys can all give out his clothes. Ah. That's when you can share his clothes, his watches, um, his shoes, his um, it, all the other things. The will can be read, and you can start distributing his assets and so on and so forth. That's the main piece. But it's it's very difficult for me to give the specific process because. Different parts of Natal and different families will also do it differently. And I'm not too concerned about that. As long as you use the right size animal, then that's all that matters. Awesome stuff. Great seeing you for the first time in this brand new year. Obam Mkiza here on The Morning Show on our spiritual helpline. Of course, you can follow him on the socials. We have been putting those details up at the bottom of your screen right now. We'll take a quick ad break. There's still lots more coming up here on TMS. Kalanat.